All right. Let's stand behind our pole and stand about a foot or yeah, about a foot away from your pole. <laughs> and then take an inhale, lift up the shoulders, roll them down your back, let your palms face the front mirror. And you can close your eyes if it feels better, taking two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just feeling however you're feeling this morning, Monday, start of your week. And as you take your next few deep breaths, you can keep your eyes open or closed and start to move your head right and left, bringing your chin to each shoulder gently. Checking in with your neck. Dropping your head to the center, lifting and lowering the chin up and down. Going to whatever beat feels good. And then setting your chin on an imaginary table to rock your head ear to shoulder. Ooh, my neck just cracked. <laughs> Use your chin to draw two circles. Reverse direction. And then float your head back to center. Take a big deep breath. Grab your bowl, lift and lower the heels, right and left. Starting to feel your legs energizing. Maybe gripping the pole with the fingers. <laughs> bowl feels up and down for eight, seven, six, five, no arms, four. Woo. Three, reach the fingertips, two, last one, hold. Open and close the fist as fast as you can for four, for three, for two, for one, keep the heels lifted, grab the pole, we're bending the knees, and then squeezing it back up. Knees are bending over the toes. Two more. Last one. Then we'll come down low, stay all the way down, little pulses. Good work. Bring the knees down, or sorry, heels down, little pulses. Whew. Excellent. <laughs> we'll come back through an undulation through our spine, rolling it through. And this can be small because, you know, it's Monday. Monday morning. <laughs> Mine's pretty big today. Ooh, one more this direction. When your booty goes back, keep it there. Booty back. We're going to bend the knees and the pelvis forward all the way up through your forehead up to the sky, rolling the shoulders back, reversing the undulation. Still breathing. Engaging your glutes, engaging your abdominal muscles. One more. Ooh, sway right and left. Switching the hand that's on top. Bending and straightening the knee. We'll stop at the right here. Pull the right elbow into your waist. Roll the right shoulder down your back. Lift that left arm up to the sky and circle your wrist. Also breathe. <laughs> Reverse. Slow your hand back to the pole. Inhale yourself up. Exhale to the left side. Roll the left shoulder down your back. Left elbow into your waist. Right arm up to the sky. Left leg is bent. Circle your right wrist. And breathe. <laughs> Reverse. Ooh, float that arm back to the pole. Inhale it up. Exhale, lift and lower your shoulders. Up and down. Alternate. Forward back. Circle back. Circle forward. Both 
circle back, we'll bend our knees. Try to reverse. <laughs> yes, two more. Right leg out, circle your right ankle. Reverse. Flex and point. Yes. Circle from the knee down. Reverse. Knee circle. Good, breathe in. Other direction. Ooh, waking it up. <laughs> so cranky. <laughs> Knee figure eight. Trying not to hit your pole. <laughs> no! We'll take our knee behind and forward, still not hitting into our pole. Yeah. Love it. Whew. We'll set this foot down. Circle your left ankle. Reverse. Flex and point. <laughs> like ballet. Four, four, three, two. Here we circle. This is also like ballet. These are Ronda Jam on layer. <laughs> Reverse. John circle. Feeling our hips. Oh my gosh. Let's draw the circle with our knee. Reverse. Whew. Good work. Let's figure out our knee again. Try not to hit into your pole. We're breathing. <laughs> you can get ridiculous. <laughs> Taking the knee behind our body and in front. Good. Two more. Stepping the legs out wide. My legs are now externally rotated from the hips to the knees and the toes are facing the front diagonal. Straight down like you're going down in an elevator and keeping your chest lifted. Good. Whew. Nice work. Double time now for four. And three. Good work. And two. And one. For your giant hips, circle to the right and center and left and up again to the right and center. If you don't need your pull, you don't need it. Other side to the left and center. Yes, just is lifted. Use your leg power, leg power, heels, charge down, squeeze your butt. <laughs> yes, good work for your feet together. Woo, right arm up, heel your arm engagement. You can be on the balls of the feet or you can be flat. Take your walk around your pole. And just check in with your arm. Make sure you got your pull and push going on. <laughs> Take it a little faster. Maybe leaving the floor a little grip as you leave the floor. For four <laughs> and three and two. And one landing on. Let's go to the right side of our pole. Swing your right leg forward and back. <laughs> Whichever side. <laughs> it doesn't have to be high. Whew. Good work. 
And then stop in here. Legs will be now externally rotated from the hips once again. Send your leg out to the right and across your body. Out, cross, out, swing. Doesn't have to be high, nice and loose. <laughs> yes. Getting ready for four hand kicks. Are you ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Left arm high. Let's do our walk over and our pull. Engaging our arm muscles. Feel on that push and pull. Fingers grip in the pull. Yeah, and Emma, try not to let it go like meh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, where's your hand, Emma? And then taking it faster. <laughs> Only if you feel good. Little leap. For four. And three. <laughs> and two. And stepping at the left side of our pole. It's all right. <laughs> Swing your left leg is just the warm up. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. This is just our warm up. <laughs> Every day is different. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's externally rotate. We'll bring our leg out to the side. I'm going to kick this curtain and across. Curtain, across. Nice and loose. I'm also going to kick the fan. When we do our fan kicks, coming up. Here they come. And four. And three. And two. And one. <laughs> 